car vlog in a minute because your girl been busy and I cannot vlog right now. I have to use my phone, but when I get my camera in a couple of months, trust and believe. Your girl gonna be vlogging every day. Every day. But today, I'm going to a vision party. My homegirl, Alicia, is throwing a vision party. And um, she wanted me to bring some ice, so I got two bags of ice down here. I just came from the Dollar General. I got my, hey, wait a second. I have my um, poster board. Now, y'all already know that I have a vision board already. I have the, um, chalkboard yeah i have the chalkboard one and then i have one just written down on a piece of paper but this also is going to be one so i will technically have three in total so you know i'm really putting my dreams out there for real and i'm not joking so it's supposed to be fun they're supposed to have refreshments or whatever um they're gonna have all the glue and scissors and all of the extra stuff oh well, i need to go this way too and go on the other side of the bridge Ooh. I need to. Um, but anyway, so she got the like the scissors and the glue and all of that extra stuff to make the vision board or whatever. And I just thought, you know, for me to vlog, that'd be cool as well as me um, going and just doing it, like just meeting people or whatever. I wish I would have had my business cards. I wish I would have made my business cards. <clears throat> my nose is running. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I missed that. I missed that, guys. Don't you? I know you do. I know you missed the infamous camera drop. Come on now. It's been a minute. Maybe it's been a minute more for me than y'all. I don't know. But I haven't vlogged. In a very long time. It's been a very long time. Maybe like a month or so. But um, y'all need to go and look at um my vision board with the red. I had the red hat from Snapchat. <laughs> from Snapchat. Um, watch that video. Then I posted a cleaning video. So I got two videos out so far for 2020. This will be my very first vlog of 2020. Yes. I'm driving so you know I can't really just clap but yes. You know I just feel like 2020 is going to be a big thing. A big year for me. You know I have a lot of things that's cooking up in here. We whipping it up this year. We whipping it up. Better content. I'm finna just be myself because I'm naturally goofy but I feel like I had to be like professional when I did my sit down videos and I'm like that's really not me. I don't even really watch those too much because I get bored. So if I feel like I get bored I have to the YouTube that I watch, I need to become the YouTube that I watch. Like, I'm interested in certain stuff, certain people talk, um, certain people's, um, you know, their attitudes and them being themselves. And so your girl just finna be herself. Like, I'm goofy. I like to have fun. So that's what it is. That's what it's gonna be. So, oh yeah, in two weeks, your girl, in two weeks, your girl is going to Las Vegas. And me and me and my homegirl, Kim, Kimmy Cakes was good. She don't watch my shit, but it's okay, you know. Don't even, don't even matter. Uh, but me and Kimmy Cakes, we finna go to uh, Las Vegas. And then your girl is driving down to LA. Ooh, I don't even know how fast I'm going. I know this is a cop. Please don't tell me I'm going fast. Okay. I was going about 70 something, which is normal. I'm sorry, that was, a, I don't know if the car just, I don't know, that was a beautiful ass blue. I don't know, but anyways. Um, it looked like a cop car though, but anyways. um, Oh yeah, so we're gonna drive down four hours. We're gonna meet my cousin. That's one of my favorite cousins. Um, He watched my vlog, what's up Wesley? What's up Wesley? <laughs> I'm hyped today. I feel good today. Today is Sunday. What is it? The 11th. January the 11th. I am in a very good mood. I'm very blessed today. Um, 
I just been on it. Like I have not been procrastinating. I have not been doing like I did my hair. I know it ain't it's just a ponytail, so you know. But I was gonna braid it up and put my wigs on. And I'm just like, uh huh. So I got up this morning. I went and got me some hair products because my hair felt extra dry. So I had to go get me some leave-in conditioners and stuff. So I kind of restocked up on my hair products. So I did my hair. Um I pressed out my roots so I can lay it down. So that's why I look late. Because otherwise, should have saw with this wool really 30 minutes ago. I was off the chain. But anywho, um, I have I've been up doing what I had to do. I didn't wash clothes. I washed clothes on what Saturday. Normally it'd be on Sunday afternoons. Um I'm out in the bell. It's 3 o'clock right now and I'm out in the bell. Like normally on Sundays, my car don't move on Sundays. Unless I'm going down to give me something to eat or going to the store to pick up a, a couple of items that I need or whatever to wash with or something. Other than that, girl, my ass don't leave the house. I don't. But today I'm out in the bell. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, yeah, so I just pulled into the vision. I'm waiting on to see if she's gonna come outside to help me with these bags of ice. I told her I did. Okay, yeah, that was just her, that was her calling me now. So, all right, I'm gonna get this bag of ice. I got my board and everything. I see people coming in with their boards and stuff. Oh my god, that's what I see. Me so cool. Okay, okay, here she come. All right, bye, y'all. Telling him, I was like, this person did this, they did that, they did this. 
And then when I thought we was good, then I did this. And then he was like, okay. He was like, get over it. Yeah. That's what he said. He said, get over it. Like, I'm talking about, I was like, daddy. No, like, you don't understand. Like, this happened, that happened, they did this, that, and the other. Who do do? He said, get over it. Get over it. He probably didn't think I was listening then, but this happened a long time ago, even when I was younger. And it stuck with me to this day. I even shared it. I was that morning, but I was that Shared it with my husband. <laughs> I was like, my daddy told me some stuff. I said, one day I'm going to tell people, because it's really going to help some people, because a lot of people hold on to things that happened in the past, and you're trying to do this, that, make men, old friendships, whatever it may be. <laughs>